So today is a big day for us. They're both graduating, so it's a very bittersweet day for myself and my wife because it's a testament to the progress that they've made here and the fact that they're moving on to the next level. My sons are Owen and Benny. Owen is six years old and Benny is four. Um, they've been attending the May Center for the last few years. Owen is a ambitious, lovable, sweet six-year-old boy who was diagnosed with autism in August of 2018, so he was just over two years old. He is the light of my life. You know, he's my firstborn. He started here, uh, you know, four years ago, and he's definitely come a long way from where he started. So he was diagnosed with autism as well as global developmental delay. I will say that was a difficult time. We still held on to that glimmer of hope that maybe he's just delayed and maybe they'll tell us, you know, he just needs some support with speech therapy and some OT. So sitting in that doctor's office um, when we did get the results of the evaluation, it was tough. What does this mean for your child as they start to grow up and, and you immediately think of some things that they might miss out on as a result. So it was it was definitely emotional. We visited probably two or three different ABA centers and May had such a reputation of, you know, high standards. We've seen so much progress from Owen since he's been at the May. The big thing is his speech and language. He's still considered nonverbal, like he can't really conversate, but he can express his wants and his needs. He says, I love you, unprompted, which is the most amazing thing. He was not making any eye contact. Now he will look at me when I say his name, and that was huge. He was a bolter. We had to be like holding on to him tightly if we went to like the supermarket or we went to a store or just even like a walk outside around the neighborhood. And now we can give him that independence to walk ahead. And he always looks back at us. And he definitely learned that from the May. I know that that's something that they worked on is sense of safety. One of the big challenges for us was every single night mac and cheese, every single night mac and cheese. Through collaboration with the May, through collaboration um, with his OT, he's eating two cans of green beans a night. So he's definitely expanded his palate, eating a little healthier. For Owen, I have so much pride for him just because I can imagine how hard things are for him as far as learning new things in his, in his development and trying to understand things that we take for granted. So Benny is my class clown, funny, goofy kid. He loves his big brother and he looks up to him for sure. I see a lot of uh, similarities between him and Owen, but I also see like stark differences. Because he was hitting all the milestones early on, we thought everything was fine. And then fast forward to the pandemic and we started just noticing a lack of times where his eye contact started struggling or where he just wasn't talking much or we would ask him a question and get virtually no response from him. So when Benny started at the May, he was not really saying much. Words here and there, but his speech was one of the major things we were worried about. And then within a few months of being at the May, his language just exploded. The amount of words he was saying, the sentences, like how long the sentences were, how many words. It feels like it happened overnight, but it was like a, within a few months, that progress, it was just insane to see how quickly that happened. The sense of pride I have for him is, is really just, he's just learning at such a rapid rate and he's just showing me every day like how much he's just has in that little brain of his. I feel like May was the first thing where we felt like we we're confident that we made the right decision, that we found, you know, a trustworthy source of support for our kids. I just want them both to be happy, and I want to be able to give them every opportunity I can to help them succeed in life. So again, I think they're both on very different paths potentially for, for their future, but I hope that they both, you know, are able to make their life what they want it to be.